In today's world, new height records are being set by skyscrapers, enormous tunnels are opening up new transportation routes, and gigantic bridges are spanning greater distances than ever before. But are you aware of some insane mega projects in the past that were never built? In this video, we will look into some of the most insanely enormous projects that were never built and were only limited to ideas. Without wasting much time, let's get right into it. Number 6 is the Grolo Tower in Melbourne. This idea came into being in the 1990s to build one of the world's tallest buildings. The building was proposed to have an insane height of 678 metres. It was meant to compete with Sydney's Opera House as a national symbol. The structure would have had a towering 120 metre high beacon atop it that would have lit up the sky and even been seen from more than 80 kilometres away. Following a string of setbacks that saw the building's height reduced to 560 metres, the project started to advance through the planning stage, and prospective tenants started putting down deposits for the tower's 200 or so flats. In 2001, it was decided not to put the project out to bid. The main reason reported was the rising community concern about the project's growing scale. Number 5 is the Russia Tower in Moscow. Early plans for the imaginatively titled Russia Tower suggested a height of nearly a kilometre when it was first proposed in 1994. Since then, the design and site have altered five times. Sir Norman Foster, a British architect, completely redesigned the skyscraper in 2006 as a 612 metre tall vertical city that could have accommodated 25,000 people over 118 storeys. The tower, with a triangle design and an open green spine, was intended to be the world's tallest passively cooled skyscraper. The Russia Tower's construction got underway in 2007 but was put on hold in 2008 as the worldwide financial crisis intensified. Later in 2009, the tower was permanently abandoned. Number 4 is the Tatlin Tower. Vladimir Tatlin, a Russian architect, proposed the utopian Tatlin's Tower in 1919. It would be 1,300 feet tall and house the third Communist International's administration and monument. The tower was supposed to be constructed from commercially available materials, including iron and steel, and was seen as a representation of development and modernism. Large hanging geometric constructions with spinning cubes at the base would make up the framework of the building. The structure as a whole would rotate once every year. However, due to unresolved engineering problems, the project was abandoned. Number 3 is the Palace of the Soviets. The Soviet Union is renowned for its enormous architectural accomplishments. The Palace of the Soviets, a projected conference hall and administrative hub to be constructed in Moscow, close to the Kremlin, was the biggest and most enormous of them all. A 260-foot tall, 80-metre statue of Vladimir Lenin was to be the crowning feature of the palace's 1,362-foot, 415-metre height. The project would cover an area of more than 11 hectares and the total weight of the Palace of the Soviets would exceed 1.5 million tonnes. Its main hall would accommodate over 25,000 people and have a diameter of more than 160 metres. Lenin's enormous bronze statue would be about 6,000 tonnes in weight and have a library inside its head. However, after the war, the project was abandoned and converted into a swimming pool. Number 2 is the Exceed 4000. The Exceed 4000 is frequently cited as the highest that has ever been fully imagined. Exceed was proposed by architect Peter Neville in 1995 for the Taisei Corporation and was intended to be constructed close to Tokyo, Japan's shoreline. It was predicted to reach a height of 2.5 miles, 4 kilometers, with a sea base that was 3.7 miles, 6 kilometers wide. It could house more than 1 million people on its 800 stories. Over 3 million tonnes of reinforced construction steel were expected to be used in the construction of this enormous tower. According to some estimates, the cost to build this tower in 2014 might range from $579 billion to $1.04 trillion. Needless to say, the project was never built. Number 1 is Colton Kirchen Airport. In October 1990, experts started looking into the possibility of building a new airport near the vicinity of Hamburg, Germany. The decision to build a new airport was taken because of the limited capacity of Fulsbüttel Airport. 
To begin the project, a total of 5,500 acres of land were purchased for 46 million US dollars. Two years later, in 1965, the state granted permission for this massive project. Two parallel runways of 4,000 meters each, oriented east-west, were suggested for an airport in the Colton Kirshen Master Plan. The runways might be expanded to an astounding 5,880 meters if necessary. Its passenger terminals would have been massive, with one boasting 15 gates and space for 10 large aircraft. It would also have enabled an incredible handling capacity of 4 to 5 million passengers per year. Later in 1997, the project disappeared off the political agenda due to local opposition. The debates to reconsider the project continued over the years. However, in 2013, the project was permanently buried. If you enjoyed the video and you want to know more about the mega projects that were actually built, please subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our uploads. As always, thanks for watching and take care.